Hey guys, and welcome to Razamajan Presents. We are checking out Music Store Simulator. So in this game, you receive orders from customers, and then you have to go on and build those for them to the specification that they've required. So once you know what you want for each build that you're making, you go to the marketplace and you buy the stuff in preparation for making your guitar, and all the stuff is then stored in your personal storage area. And when you jump into this game for the first time, you probably won't realise that you actually already have quite a bit of stock already available to you. So when you first start this game, you get the option to run the tutorial first. And the problem I found with that is that you get so far into the tutorial mode and then it doesn't seem to progress any further on. So then you're pretty much just left to wing it on your own, try and figure it out by yourself as you go along basically. So once you get over the tutorial issue, the game has so many options that are available to you. And once you understand it, so you can customize the guitars quite a lot into quite a lot of detail, like the different types of woods, materials that they're made from, from the base of the guitar, the neck, and then you move on to painting and you can completely customize the color of the paint and you can add layers different styles and that goes for the body and it also goes for the neck and the head as you can see so once you've done all the painting that you wanted to do and you let it dry you then go on to work on adding all the parts to the guitar this goes into quite a lot of detail because you literally add everything like gluing things on and screwing things up everything you can think of in adding the strings and wiring them in clamping everything yeah a lot of detail and this process of adding everything you will repeat for every single guitar that you make which can become tedious and a bit boring while you're waiting for the other things to dry and you're assembling the other guitars and then you find yourself just waiting for quite a long time between then being able to do anything else really a nice little feature that has been added in this is the um, studio structure so you can have your own private room for your own collection of guitars and you can also add a rehearsal room which then you get paid money from people that rent it out so that's quite a nice feature and then you move on we've got the courses and stuff that you can do so you can train your character to improve the skills and this will allow you to increase the quality of the items that you're making you've also got advertisement and stuff that you can do there is also another feature where you can go over to the sofa and you can rest and that will progress time by an hour or two hours and there is an option for it to be for the next day so this is useful for when you're waiting for stuff to dry you can speed up the time so that you can come back to it and then carry on getting on with stuff one other thing guys is you only actually get a day in the prologue to complete everything that you want to do so you have to try and really manage everything you're doing to get it all done so overall guys, this is a fairly relaxed game with a lot of detail in it and plenty to do when the full game is released. It has a lot of potential, but it can be a bit tedious and repetitive, which can make the experience a bit boring. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.